you're watching The Advocate on Plus TV Africa. After 59 years, how independent are we really? Only 13 states out of our 36 generate up to 20% of their own total revenue. If we stretch that a bit to determine how many states generate up to 30%, the number is just about six. Actually, up to 30 states rely on Abuja for up to 70 to 93 percent of what they spend every year. So, where does the money that they all go to Abuja every month to share come from? Essentially, it is oil money from mostly four states, taxes and custom duties driven by Lagos, and supported in bits and pieces by a handful of states. We cannot up all these bits and pieces together and say an equivalent of two states. The implication of this is that the financing of 36 state plus FCT and financing the FRA government as well is by wealth generated from about seven states out of 36 plus one. Thus, Nigeria is like an engine performing at 20% capacity. Is it surprising then that we have such a high level of poverty? The states are essentially in the business of allocating the goodies that come from Abuja every month, as opposed to being wealth creators. More interestingly are some of the excuses for the current state of the state. Some say it is because of what Lugar did in 1914. Some others think it is the constitution. Other school of thought says, if only they will allow states to generate and distribute their own power, etc. Truth is, all the excuses could indeed have bearings on the capacities of the states to perform optimally, but they are poor excuses for the abysmally low level of wealth creation that is going on at the state levels today. Pause and ponder. Tiny Israel. Niger state is about 2.5 times the size of Israel. Israel has water poverty, but it makes about $1.5 billion annually exporting vegetables. That's about 460 billion naira. Think about the fact that Africa's annual food import is in excess of $50 billion. Is it the constitution or Lugard that is preventing a state with land and water from making just 50% of what Israel makes? Who says we cannot feed Africa and by so doing create wealth rather than all of us living on oil. Mm. <laughs> uh, no, I, I mean, let me quickly say this, so Please in case so you, can, you can tell me oh, otherwise. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just thinking that, you know, yes, I, I hear what you're saying about Israel, but and, and I really think maybe you're a bit hasty to dismiss arguments about restructuring or, you know, doing things differently to the way we're doing them now in terms of structure, because I think it all goes towards motivation. Why would I? make any effort. Because when I even looked at some of the graphics and say, oh, this state, like for example, Lagos State is, is doing very well in right. terms of production, uh, um, IGP, IGR. Yeah, IGR. And then you find states that are, are producing as little as 9% and Lagos is 7%. Why would, why would I bother to stress my people mm. if at the end of the day, whether you produce 9 or you produce 60, we're still going to make up for your, Correct. you see. So there's no motivation to be top of the class, so mm. to speak. So, so there must no be, incentive. that's the word I'm looking for. There must be incentive. There must be a system that rewards productivity in the individual states or else you're wasting your time telling people that they can. Of course they can, but why should they? Yeah. You know, it's a bit like how the benefit system works in the UK. You find a lot of the people who are native born because they know they can claim more in benefits than, than when they go out to work. In yeah. fact, the system seemed the, at, the work. system at some point mm -hmm. seemed to be penalizing you. The minute you start working, the taxes take mm -hmm. away a lot of your hard earned work. Whereas if you sit there, you can go on holiday, buy a plasma TV, do all the things on benefits. You know, mm -hmm. we were even encouraged at some point to tell people all the benefits available to them if they didn't work, if they claim this, that and the other. So it was counterproductive. Why would you do that? Mm -hmm. You're sending out the wrong message. So for now, the way Nigeria is structured, it doesn't actually pay to be productive because at the end of the day, like you say, two states are feeding mm. <laughs> That's really unjust, you know, yeah. it doesn't work at all. And it makes me wonder, you know, if this isn't actually a deliberate, you know, I mean, to keep us action from the center, wow. because I think every, no, for real, I, I mean, it's, just it's almost like they, they like you sort of, uh, coming with bowl in hand. Yeah, mm. thank you. You know, to come and ask for the handout. So that, that way, you know, it's kind of like if you don't 
fall in line with our okay, thinking, okay, I see. Then, then, yes. then you're not going to get so it. Because, to I mean, that, that's kind of what so, was told to, um, I think when it was, uh, when we had a PDP government, right. and we had an APC Lagos uh, government, Lagos, yeah, yes, was and, and it, they didn't get anything from, control. The, from the government. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, that, I get your point. really, the, the government should want to encourage this. So it amazes me that till today they are actually encouraging the come to the center. That's why you, you hear yeah. of um, governors who their main base is Abuja. Abuja. Oh, boy, they're, yeah. they're not even in their home in their states. Their states, you know. <laughs> so I honestly think that there is um, some kind of uh, the system is working. Yeah, against the system us. is actually working against what you're saying. And truly, that's why I believe there has to be restructuring. But again, I know that the system or the, the central doesn't want doesn't it. want that. So again, w where do we go from here? We just have to keep protesting, I suppose. <laughs> you know, I, I think I think some places were lucky. You know, Lagos was lucky to become the federal capital, and that's why today it is what it is. Uh, other people have not been as lucky. Asaba was once our capital, whether yes, we like it or yes. not, but they killed and slaughtered the Ibus, so they ran to Lagos where there was better behavior from the locals. So Lagos is lucky. Asaba could have been Lagos today. Now, what we need to do, I think, is that we need to spread that, or is it spread the joy around? Ports in Lagos are causing trouble for Lagos now. Mm -hmm. I mean, we just don't need ports in Lagos. Mm -hmm. what, no, we we don't. what we should we don't. do is to remove them and move them to, to the east another, and another, yeah, but they Move them so it. that we can have ports in other places and Lagos can be relieved. Lagos is so commercially successful, it will reinvent itself without ports. You said it's successful. So, I was asking Bolaho before we came on here that yeah. in spite of the fact that Lagos is generating so much, okay, is it the really debt, the indebtedness, yeah, well, yeah, 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 okay. yeah, there's well, no way okay. that okay, okay, true. Let said, me yeah. mind what I'm saying. Yes, yeah. right. But what I'm basically <laughs> saying is I Lagos, what Lagos saying, is making so much mm. and yes. it's so vibrant that if we remove one bit of it, We'll find a way to. It can regenerate. We can regenerate. Yeah, yeah, we'll reinvent ourselves. Lagos will reinvent mm -hmm. itself and move on. We need to start doing stuff like that. Abuja is a case in point. You make a bare, a bare place the capital. What has happened? It's generated an economy. So why don't we spread it around? But Let's I, have sorry, ports let in other states so we can have some business right. there and reduce the effect of Lagos. You will find that as we do things like that, as we go around the country, uh, creating what I call new big cities, mm. uh, we, we will probably be all the better. Maybe, maybe you're really saying what I wanted to say, sorry, very quickly, yeah, right. which is, I, I, you know, I think there should be a way of rewarding good behavior, in quotes, because I feel that if Lagos is doing the right thing, like one of the, um, the transport commissioners was saying that, look, he's number two uh, person in, in the UK, because it's such a commercial center, the transport system, the, the government would invest at least 40% yes. of the, what is necessary to, in the infrastructure development of the UK. Yes. And, but I hear they're all on their own, which is why maybe even they're making so much. So much is being sunk in, but you're not necessarily seeing. seeing. You know? so, so there must be a way that if you're generating, you can also get something back. Sorry, Sadie. Yeah, I was just going to say that um, they say necessity is the mother well, of invention. invention right? Um, there's no incentive really for mm. states to want to exactly. you know leave the status or change the the, the rock be the gray, rock the boat <laughs> as it is mm. you know and i remember ali mazuri he did mention okay. that africa is backward because we don't have all the the winter, all the harsh seasons. Yes, yes. yes. we're so, yes. We're so comfortable with things here. Yes. That are, are we comfortable? Winter. No, I'm not comfortable. No, 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 then you really it, 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 no, we're suffering <laughs> enough. I don't think no. we need to no. suffer more. No, 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 no. But we're suffering enough. About no, the there suffering is, there was is no motivation. Mm. I, I absolutely agree with it. Mm. It's almost like you know how um, children from wealthy parents don't seem to be as motivated to succeed mm, as children right. who come from nothing. So I, I kind of see it like, oh, if you're going to go and get a handout anyway, okay, from why, the you, yeah, government's why, why, why are you going to bother yourself? Yeah. 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 But you see, this thing is beginning to get to really hit home with us. When you look at the federal government budget for this year, it's abysmal. Mm. As in it's excessive or horrible. What we can so it's, it's, it's all in loans now. Is That's that how we're going to generate yeah. it? We need the states to perform. Oh, well, that got us talking. Ekene wants to get us doing a certain type of talking after the break.